Hey guys, it's uh, February 11th, 2022. It's a Friday. It's about 10.30 p.m. And check it out. Look what I have. An AirTag. Now, I can't believe this because uh, I never thought that I would buy this thing. But um, lo and behold, we did. How do you open this thing? Oh, here. Yeah, you know, with our with us having a baby recently, we figured that we would uh, get ourselves an air tag so we can track him and uh, you know make sure he doesn't go missing. <laughs> but anyway, there it is. This is a sort of unboxing video, and we'll set it up here. Save those instructions for later and check it out. This is the air tag. Now it says here, basically, have the latest iOS, which I have, turn on Bluetooth, which it's on, hold near device and follow on screen instructions. Okay. Well, we shall do that. Anyway, there it is. I'm going to pull that, pull that. And then pull this way. Huh? You hear that sound? Whoa, there you go. So, uh, yeah, there it is. That's the Apple AirTag. Now it says to hold near the phone. Oh. AirTag. Connect. Name AirTag. Let's call it baby. <laughs> Choose an emoji. Go. Continue. Okay, it says to register to my Apple ID. This will be blurred out, of course. But bam. Well, I think that's it. Uh, time to go put this on the baby, I guess. Cool. And then I can do the find my thing. Bam. Okay. All right, well, that's it. All right, so now the tracker is on my baby. <laughs> Let's go find him. So here's the phone. We're going to go to the Find My app. Searching for a signal. Try moving to a different location. Uh-oh. That's not good. So this like basically doesn't work. <laughs> what the hell? Cause he is not that far away. Oh, wait, it says connected. Signal is weak. Try moving to a different location. Oh, so now I'm like really close and it's finally picked up on his signal and it's uh, giving me sort of directions. It's kind of pointing me the wrong way, but anyway, let's see. Well, I finally found him. 
but I was basically within range that I could hear him. <laughs> so that didn't work out too well. There's some haptics going on here too, like when you get close it vibrates. Um, anyway, that's it. I'll keep playing with it and see how this works. Alright, so I wanted to uh, shoot a video about the Apple uh, AirTags and um, I realized that I can't show a lot of footage of the tracking because I don't really want to put my address on uh, the internet. So uh, I guess I'll just have to talk about it. So the first thing you'll notice when you turn it on, I'm sure everybody who buys one of these is going to experience this first. You're going to try and track it within the house. And the thing to realize, I think, is that if you're doing short distance tracking, like within the house, it needs to be within Bluetooth range, which isn't very far. Like if you're on a different floor, like when we tried it here, I put this on the second floor, uh, and I was down on the first floor, I couldn't really, my, my phone couldn't really find it. Even just a couple rooms down uh, along this hallway on the same floor, it had trouble picking up the signal. So yeah, you know, uh, just be aware of that. Um, the, the range on this for short distance tracking uh, isn't the greatest. If you're outside of even five meters, you know, it's not particularly reliable. Uh, now as for longer distance tracking, we tried that too. Uh, it works, it works just fine. Sorry, my baby is uh, <laughs> making some noises over there. But uh, you know, it has the potential of being better than tile because you know, tile requires other tile users in the area to be able to locate lost items. Whereas uh, Apple AirTags just require a iPhone uh, nearby. And so the potential is that there are more iPhones out there than there are tile users. And I would say that at least based on my experience in my area, that certainly seems to be the case. I, I had a tile before and I would say that in my area there's probably about 40 some tile users. Uh, whereas I'm sure there are plenty more iPhone users than that in my area. I guess tile users don't need to be iPhone users, they could be Android users. Um, but I still think that the number of tile users across both platforms is still quite small. Where, whereas the number of iPhone users are considerably more. You know, you don't have to opt in or opt out uh, of the sort of AirTag network. Basically, it just uses every iPhone nearby. And um, so that's kind of an advantage. Rather than capturing just, you know, the, the tile market, which is still a small percentage of the overall uh, phone market, you're taking advantage of 100% of the iPhone market, even if that's not the whole uh, cell phone market. So anyway, that's it. Uh, that's all I wanted to say about the AirTag.